another week, another collab. I'm Board Badger and I'm back at it again with another video on Tall Tanny. Let's get to it. Technology. It's pretty hard to keep up with all the fantastic advances and innovations that are taking place in our world on the daily. From the awesome to the frightening and beyond, this is exciting technology you need to know about. Or maybe you already know. Number 10, VR. Calling all gamers. This one is for you, my friends. I'm sure you've all noticed the sudden abundance of VR and augmented reality technologies and the popularity spike in such areas of gaming, learning, and recreation. That's because computer processors have, relatively recently, become powerful and fast enough to power convincing and comfortable augmented and virtual reality experiences. VR and AR are receiving tons of attention and funding right now by massive companies like Microsoft, Google, Apple, and Facebook. Companies that are attempting to make said technologies more accessible and affordable for all. Think Ready Player One and realize that that type of future probably isn't so far-fetched or even that far off. This science fiction technology has been but a dream for fans for years. And now it's looking like it may become more of a reality, a mainstream, acceptable, alternate reality. Number 9. Clean Energy well, we've tried and tried and tried to make something happen in ways of reducing energy use, water use, and usages of all kinds to try and fight climate change. But it doesn't seem to be happening as fast as one would like. Time to turn to other ways to fight back, and it's fortunate for us that engineers, scientists, and entrepreneurs have been working their butts off to try and help make cleaner energies more cost-effective and convenient. Take solar power, for example. Once upon a time, solar cells were extraordinarily pricey and nearly unobtainable for the average citizen. But since 1977, the cost of solar cells has dropped dramatically, about 99.5%. Wind energy costs have also fallen to a low, and nearly a third of newly installed US energy capacity in the last decade was for wind energy. Tesla is a leader in the field of helping transform the roadways by making affordable, high-performance electric vehicles, and by setting up charging stations all over the world. Clean energy is already here and becoming more and more affordable every day. And shortly, we may see a massive switch, a futuristic thought just years ago. And it's quite incredible, isn't it? Number 8. Self-driving cars. People years ago, even just a handful of them, would have thought that self-driving cars were a thing of the future. I think they would have thought it was a more distant future than the 20-teens. Self-driving cars do exist today, and we've seen them actually hit the streets and be put to use in places like Las Vegas, Nashville, San Francisco, Austin, Paris, Helsinki, and London. Self-driving cars are already being tested or are in full use in those places, and there are many other cities drawing up plans to use the technology too. Here's a picture of the self-driving shuttle in Vegas. The benefits from the use of such vehicles go beyond the possible reduction of accidents and road fatalities. They can help with parking issues since the cars will mostly always be in motion. Cars will be able to communicate to avoid traffic jams, and riders could spend their time on other activities such as work, socializing, and education instead of wasting their time driving. The possibilities seem endless and the future is now. Crazy, ain't it? Number 7. Drones Try and think back 10 years ago, back to a time before drones became commonplace and a time when owning one would have seemed an impossibility, a futuristic dream. Drones began as military technology years and years ago, much like GPS did. And now look at all of the applications and devices that we use that utilize GPS on the daily. These days, drones are being used more and more often for commercial and consumer applications. And that's only going to become more and more prevalent in the future. Drones are now being built to be used in the delivery of packages by Google and Amazon. Medical supplies are being delivered to remote villages using drones for a company called Zipline. And the military is developing drones for many uses, including weaponizing them to apply for whatever purposes they need. If you want to see a realistic, terrifying video of what drones could one day do, try googling slaughterbots and look at what you'll find. Drone technology is advancing every day, and we don't know what the future holds. Hopefully they're used for good and don't end up aiding in the downfall of humankind. Number 6. AI Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this one. This could be where things get better for the world, or it could be where things get substantially worse. Think iRobot or AI artificial intelligence. In the last decade, AI has made rapid leaps forward, great bounds towards becoming an everyday reality due to advances in computing power, massive increases in data collection, and new algorithms. The hope is that AI will one day help to liberate people from tasks they don't want to do, instead of having robots do them for us. But this could be a bad thing, 
with the potential for job replacement becoming a harsh reality as artificial technologies advance. We've already seen examples of this happening in the past. The number of typographer jobs drastically dropped when the personal computer hit the market. Restaurants and retailers have begun replacing cashiers with screens, thus reducing the number of jobs available to all. Not to mention, if robots get too smart, too independent, it could be the literal downfall of humankind. Think genocide by robot. Yeah, holy smokes. As I said, this could be a good thing. It could be bad. We'll just have to wait to see what the future holds. And that's a terrifying thing. Number 5. Supercomputers you all know that we already have these, like most of us, in our pockets right at this very moment, right? I'm talking about cell phones. Once upon a time, supercomputers were a futuristic technology that you'd need a full-on room to store them. They were a far-off dream, especially supercomputers that anyone and everyone had access to, and especially, especially ones that would fit in our pockets, ones that we could pull out and use for pretty much anything at any given time. Did you know that a 1995 Intel Pentium computer had around 625 times fewer transistors than an iPhone 6 has? An iPhone 6 has approximately 2 billion, whereas the Intel Pentium had 5.5 million. This technology gives everyone the power to do things that only the elite were able to do just years ago. The scary thing is that 15 and 20 years ago, not everyone was carrying one of these things with them everywhere they went. And now they are, which means we've got the power for good and evil on our persons at all times. Nowadays, you can look up the best ways to help treat someone having a heart attack instantly. Or you can look up the best materials to buy and ways to use said materials to build an IED. What a world we live in. Just don't be doing that, okay? Number 4. Online Education Everyone knows that going to school is expensive. Like, extremely expensive, am I right? Sheesh! Well, things are a-changing, and the future of education is one of those things. These days, one can study and learn pretty much anything they want online. We can now access educational content on nearly any topic for free with the click of our mouse. You can learn how to write novels, how to program computers, how to create art masterpieces by looking up how-to on YouTube. You can find lectures from major universities, courses on how to do most anything, and browse through tutorials of all kinds, all for free. The future of education is looking pretty crazy and endless at this point due to technology, and I'm excited to see just how far it goes in the coming future. Number 3. Food What happens when you run out of water and food? We're quickly using up our resources to try and produce food right now because our food production systems are highly inefficient. Did you know that to produce just one pound of beef, it takes 1,799 gallons of water? Crazy! So how can you fix that? Or help at least? Well, many entrepreneurs are working hard to try and develop new products that can be substituted for traditional foods that are not only environmentally friendly, but nutritious and tasty as well. Companies like Gardein, Morningstar Farms, and Beyond Meat have had meals for vegetarians, vegans, and those who would instead enjoy healthier, less impactful proteins for years. Another company, Impossible Foods, have come up with products that look and taste very much meat-like, which aren't actually meat, but plants. By switching to these replacements, we could significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and use far less water and land than we do raising livestock for consumption purposes. We are quickly moving towards a future that could not only mean sustainability, but could also help with the negative effects of our current food production methods. We just need to get on board and convince the masses that these things are for the greater good and could lead to some fantastic stuff. It all starts with you, and me, and you, and me. Number 2. DARPA Robots Has anyone here seen the episode of Black Mirror called Metalhead? Well, in that episode, a woman is savagely tracked and hunted by a robotic dog that can pretty much do anything from opening doors to scanning for minute noises over great distances to stay hot on her trail. This is what the robot dog in that episode looks like. The inspiration for the episode came from videos of real robots that have been developed by a company called Boston Dynamics. And you should know about them. The robots are strangely magnificent and in a lot of ways, terrifying. They've been developed in hopes for military use in the future and give our troops a huge advantage and upper hand. The hope is to have them carry soldiers' gear and follow them through various terrains effortlessly and provide assistance where needed. There's a video available for viewing right now titled, Hey buddy, can you give me a hand? And it's strangely mesmerizing with an undertone of holy crap. Google it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Robot dogs, robot pack mules, robot soldiers, who knows what the future holds. Number 1. Space Exploration Did you know that government funding for space exploration has significantly declined since the 1950s and 60s? That's sad considering we're on our way to great things, taking ourselves to new heights and exploring things we would have never dreamed possible 100 years ago. 
Luckily, private companies have begun to take reins on space exploration and are now providing many services and products for the next step in taking on the great beyond. You've all probably heard of SpaceX, right? Elon Musk's company that recently launched the Falcon Heavy into space? Well, SpaceX is at the forefront for what's to come in space and is looking to launch the first of their internet satellites that will eventually, hopefully, provide the entire Earth with fast internet. In the very near future, a company called Planetary Resources is looking to mine material from asteroids, which is a very intriguing idea and could lead to some fantastic things. And we're getting to watch it all begin right here and now. And it's pretty darn exciting. The world of tomorrow is looking promising, potentially terrifying, and quite possibly interesting. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more of me, stop on board Badger for videos just like this one. And I'll see you guys there. Wow.